Good morning. So my lovely husband finished my vlog off yesterday because I wasn't feeling very well and I'm still feeling pretty terrible, let me tell you. My head feels like it's being crushed. Yeah, that's the only way I can describe it. Can't even talk, describe it. It's like it's right behind my eyes. I'm wondering if this is caffeine related because I've got tummy pains, so I haven't been able to have my morning coffee. I'm thinking that is the reason that I've got such a bad head. I think I'm having caffeine withdrawals as well, so not ideal. <clears throat> so I might be a bit quiet today because I just want to kill up and die. Um, I'm sure the children won't allow that though, so we'll just see how we go. I was hoping to go for a little bit of, of a walk, but the weather is vile, so that's not going to happen. And I have to pick Leah up early on a Friday. She finishes at half twelve, so... Um, before we know it, it'll be time to pick Leah up and then once I'm home I'm locking the world out and hibernating as much as the children will allow anyway. Oh, I feel so rubbish and uh, we're just having a picnic. Ava won't let me put it down. Zaki, playing with the picnic basket. I'm not feeling well, Mummy. Oh, Zachy says he's not very well. What's the matter? Tommy feels hungry. Your tummy feels hungry. Yes. What do you need? I need some medicine. Medicine? For a hungry tummy? Don't you need food for a hungry tummy? Yeah, Mum, just right here. Just right there. Oh, dear. I need some medicine, Mummy. You need some food if you're hungry. Oh, Die. Guys, we're back to home. <laughs> we're back to homeschooling Friday afternoon. So Leah's school has decided to give Friday afternoons off for the teachers and just to, to keep parents in touch with the homeschooling and you know continue to cause us great grief and trauma we're having to homeschool on a Friday afternoon. So today's lesson is science again, which uh, we all know Leah loves the science experiment. And we're learning about forces. So we're learning about air resistance and gravity and all that jazz. So you want to do an experiment with a ball, a ping pong ball and a hairdryer. She's finding it very amusing. Let me show you. <laughs> it's the bottom ones you have to do. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that hit you on the head. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, turn it down a bit then. Put it on the lowest speed. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, um, so... <laughs> uh -huh. oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Why can't you do it? Let me hold my hair, though. This is going in. not very well. Hair dry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had it working before and now we're videoing it. Of course it doesn't work. <laughs> I wonder if we just need to turn it off, put the ball on there and then do it. Okay. I'm going to centre it. There we go. Yeah. Hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> um, she's ruined it. <laughs> I think that's Ava done for the day. 
falling asleep whilst I've been feeding her a tea. Quite funny really because uh, she was literally falling asleep into her tea so I kept stopping but she kept growling at me, literally growling at me like an animal because she wanted to eat. But look at her, she physically can't. She's funny, but she's so cute. Good evening, it is finally bedtime and I am so ready to get into bed. Um, I say it's finally bedtime. I think it's about 10 to eight, something like that. I just need to get my head down. I feel so rough. My head is literally killing me. Feels like it's ready to explode. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be a quick sign off tonight, I think. Um, Zach and Ava are fast asleep. Steve's on a night shift. Leah's chatting away online and uh, has just... That's Ava's bottle uh, preparing. Um, and has just demanded that I come and make her a drink. So I'm going to take that up and I'm going to get my head down. Um, I'll probably set an alarm for 10 -ish so that I can try and get her into bed at a reasonable time. Not that that will happen because it's Friday night and she's already informed me that she'll go to bed when she's ready. So I'm not even going to argue, I don't think, because I'm going to bed when I'm ready. And actually, that's a lie because I was ready to go to bed as soon as I lifted my head off the pillow this morning. And the room spun and I wanted to vomit. So, yeah. <sighs> Gosh. Hopefully, I will come to you tomorrow, bright and breezy, without this headache that's killing, that I can't seem to shift for the last couple of days. Um. Yeah, hopefully I'll be feeling a bit better. Hope you're having a better Friday night than I am. And I will see you tomorrow. Night-night.